I needed it to survive. Please, I'm addicted. I need the blood of my body or else I get deathly sick. Please, I'm addicted. Please, I'm addicted. I needed it to survive. Please, I'm addicted.
Hi guys. Hey. Hi. Hi Bubba. Hi Bubba. Hi Bubba. Hi, Hi Bubba. Hi, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? I gotta run somewhere quick. You be alright here? Where do you have to go? Uh, gotta go do some shopping and stuff. Mm -hmm. Why? Me and you? Seems like something's going on. What were you doing outside? What do you mean? What were you doing outside? You're going, you're doing all this weird stuff. You said that the car needed to be junked. Did you not? Yeah. Okay, so that's what I did. Yeah, but look, you got a haircut. Something weird is going on. You're acting like you're going through a phase or something. <laughs> I'm not going through a phase. Why are you freaking painting me with questions? Because. Actually, you're, you're, you're acting sick. You're like deathly sick, and you think that I'm, not, I'm just gonna sit here and act you're like nothing's going on? Sick. You're sick, I'm gonna act different because now I'm worried about you. No, something's going just worried. on. But what's going on in the shed? Someone's in the shed. What? What's going on in the shed? I heard something in the shed the other day. What do you mean someone's in the shed? I don't know, something or someone, something's going on in there. You think someone is in the shed? I don't know, Jake. You're. What do you? I mean, I, I mean, what do you think? On. What do you think I am? I don't know. You're freaking me out. I don't know what to do because you're you're, you're creeping me out. I don't know what you're doing outside. What's going on in the shed? And you cut your hair, shaved your face, everything. Like, what are you doing? Actually, Something's going on. The disrespect that I feel right now. From you telling me I have someone in the shed and I'm, I'm hiding stuff from you. When have I ever lied to you or hid something from you in my life? I know, Jake, but... Never. Not once. Not one time in this entire relationship have I done that to you. So the disrespect is on real. And really, I know I heard I something, that. Jake. Do you think someone's in the shed? I come, don't come know on. if someone's in the shed. I don't know what's going on. I'm okay, well, I will prove it to you. Come on. We're going to see who's in the shed. Fine. Unbelievable. Seriously. I just want to know what's going on. If this is what you want to see, and this is why you think I'm Listen, being crazy. Listen, I've heard something. That's why I'm asking you about it. Ow. Go ahead. Take a look around. Take a look around. Okay, there's no one in here. I get it. I get it. What are all these mirrors? Why is the, the, the bottom of the floor all wet and red? What's going on? Do you see somebody in here? Something I'm hiding? No, there's no one in here. Wait, something's not right. <laughs> okay, mirrors, okay, whatever. It's weird, I guess. It's how I'm decorating. I'm, I'm moving all of my stuff in here. My editing software, my gaming computer, all that stuff is coming in here. That's why I moved all the stuff out of here. Okay. I moved I'm, the tools and stuff. I know there's side. something going on, and I know there's something different about you. What's if anybody knows, it's me. I know you the best. Something is going on. Ashley. I'm moving all of my office stuff in here. There's nothing going on. You can say whatever you want, but I'm not going to believe that. Okay? I know something's gonna, going on, and I'm going to figure it out. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Because if anybody's acting weird, it's you. No, it's not me. There's something going on with you. But I'm going to figure it out, so... Where are you going? <sighs> we dedicate our lives to something we know might be wrong, but it feels so right. These people are considered criminals. But the people who ignore their gut feeling and follow the man-made rules are considered normal? We are taught to ignore any feeling we have inside. To abide by the law, it's like the human instinct is fighting for freedom. But the world around us suppresses us and makes us swallow our pride because what we feel is considered wrong. We start to think that the feeling we get in our stomach is lying to us. But is that gut feeling really lying, or is it the society around us that dilutes us to make us think our gut is wrong? I've been completely isolated from the world for six months now. Every day, I learn something new about what not only myself, but humans as a whole. 
the true meaning of emotion and the true meaning of life. I don't like to compare myself to anyone else, but everyone else doesn't even know how to form their own opinion. The world persuaded them each and every day more and more to believe what they believe and vice versa. It's like we live in a matrix and someone at the top of the matrix wants to play God. We think we are free, but really we are trained to think the way the man wants us to think. It's a hard concept to grasp, but I'm starting to realize that the man running this matrix isn't really God, but we believe it is. Someone is playing God, but who? The rich? The politicians? The business owners? Who is it? Who is it that mocks our God? While being disconnected to the world, my God-given freedom and instinct is now free again. It is glowing, and my eyes are open to see what is happening in the world around us. There is an imposter, but who? To, to put on my plate right now. I didn't mean to freaking kill you. Nobody even understands the truth either. The outside world, I'm a murderer. There's this world, the rules are black and white. They're black and white, but in reality, the world isn't black and white. There's so many gray areas. I didn't mean to kill you. I'm not a murderer. I don't want to murder you. I was just trying to protect my wife and my family. There's so many, so many kids that look up to me and don't even know what life is really about. And they look at me like I'm the all-knowing. Like I'm the all-knowing, me. Me, a, a normal man, a, hum, a human being. I don't know shit about this life. I'm still learning. If I'm still learning, how can I teach hundreds of thousands of kids? I can't. They look at me like I'm a god. Ah, oh, god. One thing I do know though is you don't, you didn't deserve to die. I didn't mean to kill you. We both just got caught in the middle of something that was much more powerful than we are. You become addicted to an adrenochrome. What the adrenochrome? How does that even happen to survive? How are you addicted to adrenochrome? Now my wife, I think, is addicted to adrenochrome. She's gonna die if she doesn't get Adrenochrome. Now, now my wife is in the same position as you. As you. Only we don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars to go buy baby blood. I'm sorry, Mr. Martin. It all starts back with adrenochrome, the drug produced in baby blood when a baby is inflicted by sexual assault and fear to eventually death. Ashley, I warmed you up some uh, some pasta from last night. I put more vitamins in it and stuff. Hopefully it'll help your belly. Oh, this is really good, Jake. You like it? 
What'd you make this with? What kind of sauce? It's like a, some new sauce or vitamin stuff that you like an edible thing from ShopRite. Mm. Apparently it helps like with stomach aches and all that other stuff, you know. So I was like, okay, might as well try it for Ashley. So good. And you're eating it now, and it's the first time you ate in a long time, so that's good. I need your help. 